What's up everyone, Phoenix Master one here and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon X and Y. So in the last episode, we made up to the city and in this episode, we are going to be going ahead and challenging the gym leader. So this is a fairy type gym and the whole layout of the gym kind of reminds me of Sabrina's gym from Fire Red and Leaf Green. So yeah, I have uh, gone ahead and beaten all of these trainers so we don't need to do it again. And somehow we'll reach her room. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember the pattern, but I have been to her room when I was training. So, yeah. And she has a mobile, she has a mystery mine, and she also has a. What it's. Uh, Sylveon. Yes. Sylveon. So, let's. Uh, I believe this room is not correct. I feel. Uh, okay, so we went up there. Let's try this. Oh my god, we are again. And the amount of work Game Freak has put into detailing is just amazing. So, Game Freak has done an amazing job in making this game, and the fine details are awesome. So, we are nowhere. And uh, let's try this again. I have been to her room once. I know the room right to her is the last room and from there you can teleport to her room. Uh, let's try this again. This is kind of a bit confusing, I guess, for me at least. So I'm trying to remember the pattern. Okay, so we don't have to go in this room. Let's go here. Then let's go here. And here we are in this room and I hate this room so let's go uh, okay so we got up there and if we go there again I believe we go here and we can now use this thing maybe to get there please yes so we did it so on my second try I did it and let's go and uh, battle this gym leader so there we are. And uh, oh my god, she looks creepy. So anyways, this is a fairy time gym leader, yeah. And we are versus Valerie. So here we are to get our sixth gym badge and she sends out mobile first and I have my Hold me first, yes, so that we can just burn this thing. So let's go for the mega evolution and boom. There we go again. This whole process is so exciting. It doesn't matter how many times I see this. And here we have Mega Charizard X. Awesome. So let's go for this full lane burst and kill this mobile real quick because this thing is annoying. It has crunch, which can lower your defense sometimes and she has uh, iron defense on this small while as well so we kill this and uh, now she's about to send out Mr. Mine now Mr. Mine uh, is a Pokemon which has quite a lot of special defense and uh, special attack so I wanna switch out into my rip claws just to train it a bit and also inflict some damage with those crab hammers so let's see Mr. Mine, uh, she's on level 39. Okay, light screen. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna use a sword stance. And if things go wrong, we can always go to our homie and destroy her life. And now uh, let's go for the crab hammer. What? It has dual screen. Oh my god. This thing is dangerous. Okay, it does not do too much. Let's set up another sword stance. She has psychic. Okay, it's a two hit KO, I believe. I don't know. Okay, let's go for Crab Hammer this time. And even if our Rip Claws faints, we can always go to our homie. So, it goes for the lights. Okay, we live with like three HP. Nice. Almost take her out. So, let's restore Rip Claws because this man is doing some work here with those Crab Hammers and this jerk is healing as well so we heal ourselves too just all over again 
but this time it will be a two hit KO from our side and her uh, what light screen yeah light screen just wore off and she goes for psychic oh my god it did too much so let's go for the crab hammer and reflect also wore off so let's heal our rip claws again I used full restore accidentally but it's okay she's going for psychic it's just min max damage I believe okay it did like 45 HP okay mm, this is getting nowhere so let's go to what should we go into I'm like on plus 4 right now and I don't wanna switch but uh, this thing can easily kill me so there's no point in doing that um, let's try to heal uh, once more and let's see what she goes for she can set up a light screen and reflect whatever she wants to but I'm gonna be healing up because Rip Claws needs some experience man so let's see oh my god every time it's doing a lot of damage so I don't wanna take any risk let's switch to our uh, what can we switch into? We can switch into anything we want. We can switch into homie and just kill this thing off because this thing has annoyed me so much. My god, Mr. Mine. Light screen. Okay, so did I get predicted? <laughs> did she knew that I was gonna switch out? Now let's go for fly and end this thing's life. It's annoying me now. And, uh, and boom there we go we kill this thing off and now she will be using her signature Pokemon Sylveon and we are on level 47 and we can learn flamethrower man so of course forget everything and uh, yes even though this uh, mega Charizard X is part dragon and part uh, fire type we are still destroying some stuff here so she's about to send Sylveon uh, not sure if I wanna stay in because this thing might even have moon blast or some crazy stuff like that I can always go to my rip claws to get some experience points and yeah because it's just one more level and our rip claws will be evolving into Clawitzer so let's go and go for crab hammer I believe uh, Sylveon has a low defense Okay, Dazzling What is what is this? Fairy type move, okay, so Rip Claws just fainted That's bad Let's go to Homie, no Homie, it will be dangerous to go into Homie Um, let's go to Wake We haven't gone into Wake Since quite a while So let's go And let's go for that uh, Seed Bomb that stabs seed bomb from this okay so does quite a bit whoa it's super effective wait a second oh yeah my bad okay so this will be on is destroying some stuff right now I wanna go into my Jolteon or Ricky I can go into Ricky and go for that takedown and take this thing out Immediately, my bad guys. Wake was not a good switching. So let's go. Dazzling Gleam. So let's go for the takedown. This thing is on level 42, man. Wow. And if things go wrong, we can always go. What? Things are going wrong right now. Oh my god. We can go for takedown again. This thing is spamming Dazzling Gleam. I hate this thing. Let's go for this takedown and hopefully we can take her out. Yep, we did it. So Ricky did his job and Ricky didn't even faint. Nice. And Jolteon grew to level 43. Cordelia to 42. And uh, yeah, so we defeated leader Valerie. And got some pokey dollars uh, yeah that was a fine battle I shall reward you with for this great victory this fairy badge it is yours now 
do forgive me, I was captivated. I forgot for a moment that it's yours. Okay, it's okay, we are fine. And uh, woo, this badge is the most gorgeous badge ever. <laughs> yeah, so we received the fairy badge. And Pokemon up to level 80 can obey us. And blah blah blah. And we have this TM, TM99, Dazzling Gleam. I believe it's a fairy type move. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. And yeah, whatever. We are done with you. Please stop. Yeah. So let's see if Cordelia can learn this move. Dazzling Gleam. Uh, it's a fairy type move. Okay. We can tease this to Cordelia. Nice. Yes, and uh, we can replace this with teleport. Of course, teleport is the move that I don't use so often. And we have Dazzling Gleam. It's a pretty powerful move, I see. It has 80 base power and 100% accuracy. I wonder on which level Cordelia can learn Moonblast. Or can it even learn Moonblast or not? I don't, I'm not sure. So we are done with this gym and let's go and heal up our Pokemon and let's explore this city and someone is coming, Shauna and Trevor. Hey, that's the fairy badge, it's so cute and sparkly. Now what? We are going to we are going to the tour of uh, Pokeball Factory. Okay, come with us. Because they used to catch Pokemon. Okay, we can first explore the city and then go to the Pokeball whatever that thing is. So let's heal up. And yeah. So this was easy, but Sylveon is uh, quite powerful. <laughs> so let's go and explore this city a little bit. And maybe we can evolve our uh, Ripclaw. Okay, we have already talked to this guy. Um, we can go in here and get a get an item, I guess. Get an item. Uh, yes, it's a uh, ether. Ether can restore your PP, so we cannot surf in here because surfing is prohibited in this city. Who's the jackass who made such rule? Okay, do you have anything to give us? Nothing. What? You can sit on mushrooms? Oh my god, this game is amazing! <laughs> so, yeah, let's go and uh, explore some things. Do we have... Okay, so this is uh, this is the move tutor. And uh, this guy can teach your starter Pokemon those pledge moves. The fire pledge, water pledge, and all type of pledge attacks. Which form rainbow if you use them in combination. I never used those kind of moves. They had incredibly low base power of 50. Even though they were 100% accurate, but yeah, so do we have anything here? I guess we are done with this town or what? Let's go in this house and explore a little bit. Oh my god, the Litleo. Hello. Oh my god, I, I'm not sure if I like Litleo's cry or not. It just seems annoying. No offense, but yeah. Let's talk to this old man. Okay, so Pokemon fan club to get special something. Okay, let's put uh, uh, let's put Wake in front because it's our starter Pokemon after all. Maybe you can get something cool from this guy. What? Come on. So he cannot give us the thing. Hmm. Okay, okay, so this maybe he can give you some type of ribbon. I don't know. So let's uh, explore this house. What does it have? Okay, nothing. Okay, so maybe he, he's talking about Kadabra. Yes, you can see. Uh, okay, nothing. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so. This 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 whole house is worthless because they these guys don't give you anything. So I guess we can go back here, Pokeball Factory. What's in here? Okay, there's a cafe. Let's talk to her. Okay, I don't have a big Pokemon right now. 
So there is this guy just on opposite side which asks you for tiny Pokemon and this girl asks for the biggest Pokemon. No, thank you. You're worthless. Nothing is here. I think we got everything that we can. Whoa, Leafstone, cool. Amazing, so I found random Leafstone on this mushroom. Nice. So let's go and train a bit. Not sure if I want to train on screen, but uh, let's see how how many levels. No, how many? How much experience? Our rip claws needs to evolve right now. Okay, it needs only two thousand experience. Uh, let's see if we can grab that experience. Let's go in here. It's a uh, route. 15 okay who are you what you call it small fee you hipsters you cannot go that way so in the next episode we're we're going to uh, that Pokemon factory thing and let's see what it has and I do smell a master ball there but I don't know if I'm correct or I'm wrong so thank you guys for watching this video and we easily defeated the fairy type gym leader Valerie and got our sixth gym badge so it's pretty good and only two gyms are left now. So thank you guys for watching this video and please make sure to drop a thumbs up and uh, please respond to the question of the day in the comment section. I love reading your comments. And uh, yeah, I guess so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching my video.